Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Now I'd just like to say um, thank you very much Bibichu for your comment email thing. Um, I'll just turn my sound off here. Mute. Um, right. Thank you for your comment um, regarding I show you. I can see where you're coming from when you say uh, well, you just requested that I should go through it, but I can understand that people can get confused because you've got all these settings and you don't know what what's good and what's not, and you've got all these buttons and you could do something and it's wrong and then you change it and it's completely different. Um, someone's talked to me. I'm not going to talk to because I'm busy. Anyway, so Bibichu, here's what I do. Um, obviously, you can see I've made a, a brand new um, uh, setting for me. Why? Because this is made for TV. This is made for high definition TV. This is made for your own personal comfort if you're not sure about these settings. But I'm um, I'm pretty confident with these settings, so I'm going to explain what I've done. So remove, uh, yes, and I'm going to add one a new preset. I'm going to rename it tutorial to you tutorial. There we go. Right. So we'll start from scratch. Um, obviously, you're going to start at the top. Audio. Yes, I want audio. Tick. Yes, I want audio in mono. Why? Because you don't want any kind of stereo effects in your YouTube videos. Remembering that um, you want to think about what you're recording the video for. So, for example, if you're using TV, maybe you would want a stereo channel. Okay, so you want to kind of think ahead and think, oh, what, what's this video actually for? Etc. And you'll see further down, this will become even more apparent later. So, I always use high quality. Why? Because on medium and low, you start to get like... Um, like uh, a crackle to, you, to your voice it's like no I don't want to hear you crackle I want to hear your voice um, microphone input um, you put that as whatever you want whatever mic you might have six microphones like maybe one Bluetooth maybe one USB maybe one built-in etc uh, you just tick the one you want to record in and remember um, to sit however far away from the microphone you're meant to sit away from the microphone and that the the settings are correct you know like sometimes I will go into the system preferences and into sound and then make sure that the the levels here are peaking at a right spot which is about here and obviously you can use this bar in the I show you to um, to check that too so that's that's audio in a nutshell um, and obviously I've put uh, microphone monitor off because I don't want any distractions uh, visual distractions from what I'm doing on the I show you capture so that's audio settings in a nutshell now the more confusing um, subject is video I'm going to jump straight down into compression here compression and quality these these go hand in hand together now I always put quality high because if I'm going to be compressing the video for the internet be it YouTube be it a website or whatever um, you always want to retain as much quality as, as possible but so if I'm going to um, compress it to see normal or maybe low quality now then if I'm going to compress it later crikey the quality is going to pretty much be disappeared so I always try and in this capture this this raw file uh, to get your quality as perfect as possible and because of that I always use the anime Apple animation because the animation codec is is nice with like RT pictures and and like to get the colors nice and crisp I mean you can see the circle is nice and round well I don't know if you can in the compressed version but in this version I can assure you that it's a nice round crisp um, circle um, it's not slightly blurred, the white's white, the blue is blues, the magentas are magentas, the bits in between are bits in between, the other colours are meant to be. There as in other ones like um, DV PAL, like Apple DV or um, DV NTSC, same thing, Apple DV, um, it, they, they kind of guess a few colours like the whites might not be perfectly white, they might be a bit grey to try and um, compensate for quality and uh, file size which is okay sometimes but if you want to be able to read this text here tutorial perfectly um, I'd like to use the Apple animation you can I think you can tell the difference some people can't see a difference but I can so that's my recommendation um, mouse record now I want to be able to be like point 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 record point 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 Safari point 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 it's the terminal point 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 look at this icon isn't it sexy um, so that's why I have the, the mouse on some people don't want to um, the mouse on so for example if you're going to change the capture size to full screen which is whatever resolution 1200 and whatever by whatever whatever um, and you don't want to see a mouse flying all over the screen you can take off the mouse etc it just depends what you're going to be recording for 
this this utility is not specifically for YouTube it's designed for TV and high definition TV even look see uh, so there that's 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 that in a nutshell and I always aim for 25 frames per second depending on how fast your computer is the faster it is I would say go about 30 frames per second but never ever go any lower than 15 frames per second in my opinion because that's when you can start to see um, loss of frames and it's jittering about etc and you don't get a smooth move on your mouse if you've got a low capture size and you've got follow mouse cursor ticked now I always untick all these but sometimes I would tick this box to be, to be able to see um, the black line here I don't know if you can see it um, but basically to be able to know that oh uh, if I'm talking about the finder here but then I haven't moved my mouse but I'm also talking about this file here called doc backup but you can't see it well that's a bit pointless because you need to be able to see what I'm talking about do you know what I mean it's not within the capture range so sometimes I would have a look to see how far and remind me how far away from the mouse some things can be so I can talk about it etc I usually have the, all these unticked follow mouse cursor because that's my style and that's it press record and you're away and when you finish click finish so that's me finished so thank you very much um, hopefully you've learned something I hope I haven't um, stressed you out even more <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry if I have um, now if if this hasn't been clear please send me a message or a comment I'll try uh, try and re, um, be able to tell you a little bit more in detail about um, things that can be learned via Final Cut Pro and After Effects for video files such as the codecs and the qualities etc what can go with what to try and keep your video at a high standard because um, I actually uh, read well not read I've noticed that um, I think it's video copilot the guys on there they, they have a DVD called um, the internet killed the video star or something uh, that made me chuckle actually because compression really can kill your videos and if you get the compression correct it means all the difference to somebody in I don't know 3,000 miles away who wants to see a video but doesn't want to wait forever and you want to be able to compress it so they can get it fast but you don't want to decrease all your values in your video so nobody can understand what it is you're looking at because it's only one pixel wide so that's me finished sorry for blabbering on and for whatever hopefully um this is not my last video before christmas but if it is merry christmas to everybody thank you very much for watching and um mm, that's about it thank you very much and this is me finished so i'm gonna click finish